and we have to snap it and then only the root system can be uh, completely destroyed or uh, otherwise the nature will be coming back to life then the uh, another word you can see there earth cave and that is also an important word there term there earth cave and uh, because we all of us know uh, in the primitive time man used to live in caves so for the those primitive men caves were provided uh, security and it was a safe place for them and similarly this root system the wild root system it is acting like like a security or a safe place for the tree uh, only because of the presence of this root system the tree is uh, uh, living and even though there is a climate conditions are worse and whatever changes may happen whether it is a powerful rain or there is a, so many powerful wind is coming the root system is helping the tree to be there or in its position and it will be stable there and so uh, like the uh, primitive people or for the primitive men uh, earth uh, caves acted as a secure place for them similarly in the case of this uh, tree and this uh, uh, root system it is like a cave it gives ample support shelter etc for uh, or and also in addition to security this root system is providing nourishment for the whole branches and also for the main trunk of the tree and the leaves etc so it is acting like a uh, cave or say secure and nourishment so he, this nourishment uh, etc it will give a proper growth for the tree and then another uh, term you can see in the next line that is the strength of the tree exposed so here the strength of the tree also refer to the root system because we know that if a tree's root system is not very strong the tree may be coming down and when an adverse climate is coming when there is very powerful rain or when there is powerful storm or hurricane the tree will be coming down and if the root system is not very strong so the strength of the tree is referring to the wide root system which is holding a tree and so that word is also important and then uh, uh, then the poet is also using another term like uh, uh, white and wet soils that word is also important soils white and wet and because the soils is white and wet when you check the root the inside portion of a root you can see it is a uh, wet and also that is having moisture in it and also it is white in color and in the coming line the poet is using it as a sensitive hidden something and because you know we can't see the entire root system of a tree because it is under the surface of the earth for so many years it was hidden from the uh, surface of the earth so that is why it has moisture in it and also it is a white in color and so uh, in order to kill a tree what we have to do is the entire root system which was hidden for so many years it should be pulled out completely and then we have to rope it we have to tie it and when it is uh, hard we have to snap it and then only the process that is killing of a tree will be complete and that is what the poet is using so in order to uh, explain that the poet is using such words in the beginning of the first uh, second half and then uh, it is exposed to sunlight when we pull out the entire root system it will be exposed to sunlight uh, then it will be exposed to climate changes and in order to refer to the complete destruction of the tree the poet is using such terms then uh, to, when we come to the words the end of the poem and you can see some more words that uh, you can underline they are main words and that is uh, browning hardening in twisting withering such words the poet is using and uh, because um, when we pulled out the whole root system and it will be exposed to sunlight air etc climate changes etc as a result the whole white and wet root system will be changed into brownish in color and then it will become very hard uh, that means uh, when the root system is exposed to sunlight and air the moisture content inside the root system will be gone so it will be very hard and then after some time the whole root system will be twisted uh, twisted in shape and then uh, it will be withered 
and the whole root system will be coming to uh, a particular stage in which it will be completely destroyed and that is why towards the end of that poem the poet is telling and then it is done it is done here means the killing of the tree is over so the second half of the poem and we can see how hard it is for a human being in order to kill a tree and always think about the word kill a tree not about cutting down a tree because in the first half of the lesson you can you have seen uh, when you cut down a tree that is not a complete destruction or killing a tree because uh, that nature has the power to regenerate but when we come to the second half of the poem we have seen uh, it is a very painful process or it is a very hard thing in order to kill a tree uh, or on the part of a human being killing a tree involves a lot of hard things like uh, pulling out so pulling out a wide root system of a big tree is not very easy and uh, when we have to pull it out uh, then we have to rope it tie it then snap it and then it should be exposed to sunlight and air then it will be very gradually uh, the life in it will be gone it will be brown and it will be withering it will be twisting it will be hardening and as we think the uh, cut, uh, the killing of the tree will be over and so the poet is trying to say that and when uh, it is not very easy to destroy nature as we have seen in the second paragraph about the other and the poet is uh, right, already we have seen it is written as a satire or uh, the human beings are always thinking that we can easily destroy nature but it is not easy uh, as we human beings are thinking and that idea the poet is emphasizing through the whole poem so all together it is a satire against human actions against nature uh, we humans we have to always think that uh, nature is not like us and it is a very powerful uh, whatever actions we are taking in order to destroy nature nature is not like that nature is very powerful than human and whatever may happen as you have seen in the second paragraph about the other there the poet is talking about uh, or the writer is talking about mass extinction even when mass te- mass extinctions are going on nature can uh, or repair all these things because nature has a regenerative power so uh, go through each and every line and learn it uh, the idea should be learned by heart and whatever question may come think about these main ideas the main terms you have to study and then concentrate upon all these main points especially the second paragraph about the other and that is giving a total summary about the lesson and read that paragraph and then read the lesson and go through the main terms and then you can understand what our poet is trying to speak about the uh, about everything so go through it and prepare for the lesson and have a nice time and we can meet with another lesson in the next class